What's up, everybody? Are you one of those people that is just trying to get into computer gaming? Are you guys just starting out? Maybe you guys just kind of got that little that itch that you want to build yourself a computer, or you know you already have a computer but it's maybe a little bit old, and you want to still be able to max your games out at 1080p, and you want to be able to crush them and play the newest games. Well, what do you do? I mean, all you, everybody's hearing these days is AMD this, Zen that, but they haven't even come out with their newest line of budget-oriented processors yet. That's coming in quarter two, I believe, but it's not here yet. So, if you're at the budget end of the spectrum, what do you do? Well, I'm gonna show you. Check it out. Now, please keep in mind, AMD, yes, the new stuff is looking awesome, and I know they will have their budget processors out pretty soon, and they'll have an option for everybody coming out pretty soon too, so I'm not AMD hating. My very first build was an AMD, and so was my very my second build, actually. So I'm actually really excited for it, but if you're trying to build a computer right now, and you need the budget-oriented processors or something budget-oriented um, that's cost-effective, what do you do right now? Magic? No. No. It's... Using a little bit of know-how, using your sources, and shopping around, and having a bit of patience. You guys can do it. I did it. Source all the parts. I actually got all these parts. They were still new when I got them. People that got them were meaning to make builds, just never did, then decided to sell them on Craigslist. And then I decided to come in, grab the parts, make a build from it. You guys can do the same. So check it out. Alright guys, so the motherboard we're going with is the ASRock H110M HDS Micro ATX motherboard. It is pretty basic, um, has just the right amount of I.O. that you would need, has front panel USB 3 and a couple extra USBs in the back, but it's steady, it's good to go, and it works great in this build. And moving on to our processor, we have the Intel Core i3-6100 dual-core processor. It does have hyper-threading though, so it can act like a quad-core in gaming situation, so it does great for this build. For RAM, we're rocking a single 8GB stick of a Vixer Core Series DDR4 clocked at 2400MHz. For storage, we're going with the tried and true WD Blue 1TB. If there was any upgrade path I would suggest taking at this build, it would be to put an SSD in it just for the extra speed. Powering our budget build here is going to be the EVGA 430 watt power supply. It's 80 plus certified and it's trusted by just about everybody. And the main powerhouse of this build is going to be the MSI GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. It's a low profile card with a dual fan custom cooler, still supports that 4GB of GDDR5, and it doesn't even require a 6 pin power connector. Our home for all our parts is going to be the Zion XON 310 black case. There's basically no cable management in this case, but I mean, hey, it comes with a blue LED front fan, so that's pretty neat, right? Now let's build this thing!
All right, guys, so that does it for my budget bill that I source all the parts from Craigslist from. Uh, if you guys like this video, you guys know what to do. Make sure you guys leave me a like down below. Make sure you guys leave me some comments if you guys have any questions on how I did anything in the build or how I sourced the parts or anything like that. Go ahead and ask me. I'll always answer you guys. And then make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because I'll have a lot more content coming out pretty soon. I know sometimes there's lapses in my content, but that's just because I'm a real guy with a real job and a real life. So bear with me. You guys will keep it right here. You know, the channel will grow and uh, you guys will get more awesome content. So with all that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.